if you look at how politics is run, and you go into the writings of people like Lenin, for instance, Lenin said that there are a thousand directions and systems in which people could go and live under, but the public mustn't know that. He said it's important that the system that's created for them uh, is accepted by the people so that they think that it's the only system that could possibly work. And it's true, we're contained in a system of left and rights, uh, supposedly the have-nots against the haves, or those who own the means of production against those who don't, the workers. And that's traditional Labour versus Tory or Conservative versus Democrat. That's how the system is run. It keeps the public contained within a system of thinking uh, that it must be one or the other or, or a middle road in between which they push. It never occurs to the general public that society has lived in the past under many different types of systems. And um, as Lenin said, it's important that the public don't know that the system they're born into was designed for them and that it could be any different. They must think it's the only natural one that could have evolved in their lifetime. Therefore, you're, you're contained within a restriction of parties you vote in one party when you're sick of, of the last one, not because you want the new one in, it's because you're sick of the last one and what they've done to you. And uh, once they've been corrupted and, and gone off uh, in different tangents in, in ways where they never explained during the entire elections, um, had nothing to do with their election promises, you vote them out and get the next party in. And so we go on forever with this left-right paradigm. Always think, it's like a tennis match really with the public in the middle, we're the ball and we just simply go back and forth between left and right, left and right, left and right. Meanwhile, we're being shepherded all along in one direction because politics is a tool of the elites to manage the public. That's all uh, democracy, in fact, really is a tool of the elite to contain the public, manage them, and guide them along a, a predetermined path that's outside of any kind of democracy. This generation today, uh, the ones who are alive today, we are the generation that's going through the biggest changes in history, according to even Rockefeller himself, since the Industrial Revolution. It's the end of one part, one phase of a long-term plan. And out of this comes a new world order. As they've said, Mr. Brown said, the Prime Minister of Great Britain said at the G20 meeting recently, it's a new world order, a different order from the previous one where people technically, technically, uh, were working for themselves, would choose their own employment and so on. Uh, the New World Order is a planned system, a planned economy, a planned population. So um, it's up to us, it's not up to the next generation to change this. We're the only ones who can possibly do the changing. And it's either really um, the rights to go into an uncertain future, which is what life should really be, where we decide for ourselves where we want to go individually and collectively, or allow ourselves to be dumb animals, creatures who are guided by those who, who have decided they are the masters of our destiny and uh, allow ourselves gradually to be sterilized, killed off, used for the last part of their, of their agenda and their wars, and then cast off. Many people will love socialism. Uh, they, they enjoy being guided and they enjoy their bosses running the world for them. But it's up to those who like freedom, personal freedom, which also entails uncertainty of where we're actually going to go.